Well, while the violence continues in Gaza, Israeli forces are carrying out more raids in the occupied West Bank. Since the war in Gaza began on October the 7th, they've stepped up their operations across the territory. Zain Basravi joins us live now from Ramallah with more on this. And Zain, talk us through these latest raids. Well, as the daylight has come and the cover of darkness has gone, we're hearing that the Israeli military has pulled out, that it has suspended the raids for the evening and uh, pulled out of all of the cities and communities uh, in the occupied West Bank. But it's been a very, very busy night. Uh, multiple cities, once again, across the occupied West Bank, the target of several heavy uh, Israeli military raids. We've seen open clashes. That's something that has been different in the last few days. We've seen more resistance by Palestinian residents, more armed Palestinian fighters engaging in clashes with the Israeli military. To that end, we've seen aftermath footage that, have, that has emerged in the last hour from Tobas, where uh, we've seen destroyed roads, burned out cars uh, from clashes with the Israeli military. Uh, we've heard that uh, Palestinians used an explosive device against the military there in the occupied uh, part of East Jerusalem, occupied East Jerusalem at the Shafat refugee camp, one of the largest uh, military raids we've seen so far, 300 strong Israeli force going into the camp there to carry out a raid. Uh, that footprint likely because the Shafat camp is known to be home to uh, several Palestinian armed groups uh, in the town of Anata, not far from there, in a raid they arrested Maruf al-Rifai, an advisor to the Palestinian Authority governor of Jerusalem. Also in another raid there, uh, another Fatah leader, Rafat Alian, was arrested during a live interview. We also saw raids in Ramallah, just uh, a few minutes drive from our uh, offices here. Israeli military vehicles were spotted. And at a raid in Nabi Saleh, a village in Ramallah, they arrested a very prominent Palestinian activist, Ahed Tamimi. Now, she became famous in 2012 for confronting and standing up to an Israeli soldier in defense of her brother. She was a child at the time. She's been arrested again, and after her arrest, uh, the military published images of her on Facebook, uh, along with taunting words saying, where is your smile now, Ahid, celebrating the arrest of this prominent Palestinian activist. And that's something we've seen throughout the process, throughout this last month, the Israeli military going after leaders, going after activists in these nightly raids. Zain Basravi in Ramana, thank you.